Hey, she seen right here on the Ruach exposure. I just trust that if you need healing or you need to hear encouraging word, I encourage you to read Psalm 91 on a daily basis. And um, I've got a friend of mine, Yanni, who's going to read Psalm 91 for you guys. And if you need prayer, comment below, uh, email me eugene307 at gmail.com. If you go on my channel, on the top corner, you will see the links going to my Facebook and just drop me a message. I invite me, chat to me. I love to hear from you guys. Bless you all. Now we're going to read together Psalm 91. Security of the one who trusts in the Lord. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will remain secure and rest in the shadow of the Almighty whose power no enemy can withstand. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust with great confidence and on whom I rely. For He will save you from the trap of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you and completely protect you with His pinions. And under His wings you will find refuge his faithfulness is a shield and a wall. You will not be afraid of the terror of night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor of the destruction, sudden death, that lays waste at noon. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand. But danger will not come near you, you will only be a spectator as you look on with your eyes and witness the divine repayment of the wicked as you watch safely from the shelter of the Most High. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High your dwelling place, no evil will befall you, nor will any plague come near your tent, for he will command his angels in regard to you to protect and defend and guard you in all your ways of obedience and service. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you do not even strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and cobra, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because he set his love on me, therefore I will save him. I will set him securely on high because he knows my name. He confidently trusts and relies on me, knowing I will never abandon him, no, never. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With a long life, I will satisfy him and I will let him see my salvation. Thank you for the reading of his word. I want to encourage you with just with one or two things that comes from this word. We talk of God as our protection, as our provider, and we talk of trust. And with that, we're also going to pray for healing in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we just want to thank you for your word. Yes, Lord, your promises are yes and amen. We want to pray, Lord, for your protection over us through this coronavirus in the name of Jesus. For those that need healing this afternoon, O oh God, we pray for healing, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, your word also says, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We pray, Lord, for prosperity in the name of Jesus for your people. We also pray, Lord, strengthen our trust and our walk in you, my God, because you are all that we need. You are all that we trust in, O oh God. We pray, Holy Spirit, guide us, lead us, and protect us according to your will and according to your ways, O oh God. Lord, we submit and surrender our lives unto you. We pray even for our church, O oh God, bless our leaders and our members in the name of Jesus and touch them anew, O oh God. Renew our minds in the name of Jesus. We ask this in your precious name. Amen and amen.